Hey gardeners, today is Sunday, May 21st, and I'm going to do a quick little garden tour because I've had several things going on in the garden since week before last, so it's been two weeks since I've done the last garden tour and I was literally just getting started and kind of still am, but I have uh, done several things in the garden and some of the things that you saw last time have been growing, so let's look and see what we've got. Here is my Blaze of Glory rose, and it is finally blooming. It has beautiful, beautiful blooms. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? They smell so good. So, when I first put this rose in, I didn't know a whole lot about roses. So, I haven't, I didn't trim it right in the fall last year, and I didn't fertilize it right. Honestly, I just didn't take the time to do some research on it, but I have, and so now I'm going to fertilize it, hopefully green it up a little bit and get some more blooms, and then in the fall, it's a little late now to do a whole lot of trimming on it, but in the fall, I will trim it properly, get it trained, going in the right direction, and then next year, I think we'll have even more blooms. And the good thing is, is that now I can train and trim this one the correct way from the get-go so this is another blaze of glory rose and by the time these are fully mature they will both be grown to the very top of that trellis and completely covering it and when they bloom it will be a magnificent show and I'm so excited to see that so let's see what else is going on in the garden So here's some stuff that I have already posted. All of the potatoes are looking fabulous. So I've done all of my potatoes so far in grow bags this year. And I just wanted to show you this one. This one here that has the blue in it. That is an Adirondack blue potato. And that's how you can tell. It's the only one that gets that blue in it like that. But they're all looking so good and so healthy. Then, then over here, I have some cucumbers that I've put there, and those have doubled in size since I put them in there. And this little watermelon has done absolutely nothing. And I mean nothing. It has been that tall for two weeks. A couple of things back there on the back have died. Those were some peas, so I don't know what happened to them, and I don't always know. I just keep going. And that's what you have to do. Sometimes things die and sometimes you don't know why. You just keep going. These are all of my onions. They're doing fabulous. I would have thought they would have grown a little more. I may fertilize them in the next week or so. These are more onions. And that flower back there is a nasturtium. And these peas over here are doing a lot better. That's them there on the back row. And these are more onions. Now up here in this part of the garden, I've got several things going on. I have planted a multitude of things. So I've got cantaloupe going, some kale, a um, couple tomato plants. I'm not even going to try to name all of them because I have to bend down to see the name. And I don't have my glasses on. I've got in multiple peppers. These first six right here are all jalapenos. And this one already has one on it. So that's exciting all this one does too and these need to be watered these are brand new they've only been here for a few days so i'll have to make sure these stay watered and i've gotten all sorts of tomatoes in more onions down here on the end then another whole row of tomatoes and another row of tomatoes behind that i've got a few things in between those tomatoes a couple of those I've already had to stake up, but um, before much longer I'll have to get a cattle panel up to support all of them. And then just behind that is the corn, and it has grown quite a bit. Well, some of the corn has grown quite a bit, let me say it like that, because the corn here on the very end is not doing well, so I don't know if it's because it's right here on the end 
where last year there was a lot of foot traffic and the dirt is really compacted right there. I'm not sure if that's what it is or not, but you can see <laughs> this corn looks a lot different. There's a marigold between them. More corn. Um, this corn, this corn um, is alternated. That is, that one is red corn and it's a red sweet corn. And then this one here is glass gem corn, which I'm really excited to grow. I've never grown that before. It is a beautiful multicolored um, corn that you can either do cornmeal with or popcorn. It is not a soft corn that you would want to boil and eat. And that's it for over here in the in-ground garden. I've still got plenty of room to put some other things in and I plan on doing that. I have more peppers that I still need to plant and a couple other things over there. This is my Mother's Day rose that my husband got me. Isn't that beautiful? Look at those blooms. They're just gorgeous. That thing is a double knockout rose. And then this crazy thing right here beside of it, that's my tatsoi greens that have gone to seed, which I'm very frustrated with. They're beautiful little flowers that I really wanted to be able to eat some. And actually, I ate a couple. <laughs> I ate a couple of the stalks, and they were still good. They were not bitter. You may even be able to eat the flowers. Now, there's one way to find out. So here's some that have not completely bloomed yet. And right before they bloom, they're a little more compact than that, and it highly resembles broccoli. There's one. And they actually taste really good. I tasted of them like that, too. Here's one. Here's exactly what I'm talking about. See how that resembles broccoli? Anyway, I've still got some other things that need to be planted. Here is the Brussels sprouts. They have not grown a whole lot in the last week or so but they are growing. And here is the chamomile. It is ready to be harvested, some of it is. So I need to go ahead and harvest some of those and get them ready to put in my tea or dry them out, one of the two. And the spinach has just about been eaten up by bugs and one of them has gone to seed already. So I'm just gonna go ahead and let this one seed and then I'm gonna save those seeds and next year when I plant spinach. I'm going to plant it from the seed and see if they won't do better. This is oregano, thyme, chives, and a flower. A few more chamomile over there. Got some sunflower starting to grow. I need to get the rest of the peppers planted and this is some more of the Merlot lettuce that I still haven't planted. One of them I let die in the garden because I did not water it. It's hard to keep up with it sometimes. So I've changed a few things out here in the on the extra lot. I have started the process of putting all my grapevines right here in one row this one here is really taking its time coming up. This is the one that got zapped by the cold like three times in a row. So you can see how tiny it is. But it's not dead. This one right here is one that I purchased this year. I forget what that one is. Here we go. So I found a picture in the catalog that I ordered from, which is Berlin Seeds. This is a red seedless grape, and it's called Reliance, and I'm so excited to be able to try this one. Oh, I think I see an egg. I don't know what kind of egg, but that sure enough is an egg. Well, I'm not going to mess with it. I'm just going to leave it alone. And there's the third one. It's it's the biggest one of these three. 
This is a hemrod, and it's from last year also, so I'm hoping this one will produce this year. I also found a picture of the hemrod grape in that same catalog, even though that's not where I purchased it at. I purchased this one from Sam's Club, and I'm excited to try this one if I can get it to produce this year, but this is what it looks like at full maturity. Here's my beets. These are really looking fabulous. They're looking really good. These were started in the house and then transplanted in this big pot. Here's all my lettuces. This is a Merlot lettuce. These are just about ready to pull. These are uh, little miniature lettuces. I can't think of the name of those right now, but they just make little small heads. Those are about ready to pull up out of there. And the bugs like these greens better than anything over here. So I've just left it alone, hoping that it would uh, munch on this and leave the lettuce alone. So seems to be working so far. This lettuce came out of the Cosmic Mix pack that I bought. And this is another one of those greens that's doing the same thing. The bugs are really going after it and leaving everything else alone. So I'm just, I'm just letting them. So I've got a couple beans over here. Those are October beans cucumber, more of the Merlot lettuce, more of the Cosmic Mix. This came out of the Cosmic Mix. It does look like a Merlot though. And then a couple more of the Little Gems is what these are called. I just remembered. It's called Little Gem Lettuce and it just makes little heads. And that's a Vanilla Spice Basil. This Vanilla Spice Basil I think. No, Blue Spice blue spice basil is what that's called and that is a kohlrabi beside of it and then up here are all of my strawberry plants that are not doing very well at all I don't know what's going on in this bed this had fresh everything last year and all I had in it was struck was um, flowers so it should have plenty of nutrients in it but they are not doing well at all so I'm going to try to fertilize these and see if that does any better. This is my Joseph's Coat Rose that is starting to grow and really um, get a lot of growth on it. So I can hardly wait to see what the roses look like on that thing. Here are the other strawberries and these were planted at the same time those others were. These were in the greenhouse for a while though. And you can see they've all got a lot more growth on them than the others do. There's one down here that even has a strawberry on it. There it is. The blueberries are progressing really well. Nothing has messed with them yet. When they start getting a little closer to being uh, blue and ready to harvest, I'll have to do a little extra to protect them from the birds. There's some more on a different bush. So I hope to have a few more blueberries than I did last year. I didn't have a whole lot last year. Probably won't have a whole lot this year, but I'll have more than I did. These are all cauliflower. This is a cauliflower mix. And you can see that this one is obviously gonna be purple. That's the purple cauliflower, and it's too soon to tell what the others are yet until they get a nice big head on them, so we'll just have to wait and see on those. This is the double gold raspberry that I purchased this year. This is a new one, so I'm anxious to see what those raspberries look like. Still more things to plant. Oh, it's never ending. And this one has a little tomato on it. These are the blue creamberry tomatoes. I have several left after I sold some, gave some away, and I still have some. <sighs> so the carrots are doing really well. Look how tall these are getting. Finally. I still have this little protective cloth over these. I should probably take off, but I hate to because the cabbage moths are running rampant, I have noticed. Now 
and the daggone squirrels get after everything and dig down in the soil of my beds. These onions have not grown a whole lot since I've put them in there. I'm just going to try to fertilize everything, I guess. That's a tomato I put over here. I think that's the a soldaki, which is a big heirloom tomato. Oh, look, the squirrels have gotten in here anyway. Sneaking in and digging holes. Yes, they are. And leaving behind pine cones. Little rascals. This is more carrots. These rows right here are rows that I planted carrots from seed and most of them came up and then just died back off. So I don't know what's going on with that. These carrots here are carrots that I, that I started in the house from seed and then transplanted. That is regular basil right there. This is more kale. And then down on the end here is more um, cauliflower that I planted and it literally has not grown in a month. That's how big it has been for four weeks. So I don't know what's going on with all this stunting. I have so many things that have just not grown so I don't know what's going on. And they're all under different circumstances, different plants, different soil, different amounts of sun so I, I just don't know. That's a cucumber that I planted, which is actually doing really well. That's the White Wonder. And that one has doubled in size since I put it in. That's another tomato that I have stuck in over here. I think that is a black strawberry. Yep. And this one's already starting to get some stuff on it. Over here I have more lettuces. I'm gonna have to get to eating salads, y'all. There's two more of the Little Jim lettuce, a couple more of the Merlot, and then there's some more of those greens that the bugs really like. So I'm gonna try to take the protective cloth off of this and see how everything does. I'm about scared to, because I know how the bugs do. They like to eat everything alive. This has been eaten up pretty bad. This is another kohlrabi. This is a kohlrabi. These are golden beets over here, and something has really chewed on the leaves of it, even though I've had it covered. Something is still getting in there and really chewing up the leaves. Which is frustrating, but you know what? I'm not going to give up. I'm going to keep planting, keep growing. These are some more beans. Those are October beans also. This is my grape from last year, and this is called a noble grape. It's a purple grape, and this is probably older than any of them that I've had. Yeah, this is the third year I've had this one, I think. No, actually, it's only the second year that I've had it, come to think of it. But I got this one in the spring of last year, whereas I got the hemrod grapes in the fall, I think. So, we'll see if we get any grapes. And these need to be cleaned off. It's a cantaloupe. Cucumbers. And I think more cucumbers. And now, last but not least, the bushes and the trees is all we have to look at. Here is my raspberry bush, and it has gotten so big, it looks like two bushes. And it has blooms and the start of berries all over it. I mean, all over. Literally everywhere. And this one had a lot last year, even though it was a lot smaller, so I can't imagine what it's going to produce this year. And it actually started getting so many new shoots that were shooting straight up into the air, I had to trim some of those down because they were shading the bed behind it too much. Just like this blackberry is starting to do. See all of the new shoots that are shooting straight up? That's how the raspberry was doing as well. So I don't know if the new shoots will get fruit on them or not. Well, I guess they will because this is a new shoot, I think. 
so the blackberries is which is what this is if I didn't already say it this is a thornless variety and it has blooms and berries here's a berry that's been started so I'm really excited about this because I didn't get any blackberries last year but they're all over it all over it let's go see what the apple tree looks like the last time I looked it had a few apples on it now last year both of my trees were very new very immature and they ended up with some kind of copper disease on them and it looks like they may be getting it again no, it wasn't called copper. I forget what it was called. But that is very frustrating. There's an apple on this one. See it there? There's a good size one right here. So yeah, last year was very frustrating with the apples. I didn't get any. There's a few more. So, time will tell. This is the Fuji. That was the Honeycrisp that we just looked at. And here's the Fuji. The Fuji, I have not even seen any blooms on. So if it's not blooming, I'm not sure how it's going to produce any apples, but I thought that the Fuji and the Honeycrisp were supposed to bloom at the same time, but I have seen no sign of blooms on that apple tree. And now that I think about it, it was probably the cold snaps that maybe got some buds that I did not see. I don't even re really remember checking it, but that's probably what happened to the blooms on this tree. Now, the last thing to look at is the peach trees. And this one has peaches all over it. And they are so cute. Look at that. Are those not the cutest things? And they are everywhere. Look at all those. Now, I don't know a whole lot about peach trees. This is my first year, so I'm going to have to do some looking up. That's called the Red Haven. And then I've also got this one over here, and this one is called an Alberta. And this one does not have any. And this one struggled whenever I first transplanted it, so it probably will not get any this year. And that's okay. We can wait. And then the only other thing left is that plum tree, and it has lost all of its leaves. And I knew it would not do well. When I planted it, the root ball just kind of fell apart, so I didn't really expect it to do well, and it sure did not. It may not make it. And that's about it, folks. That's the end of the garden tour, so not a whole lot going on, but more than there was. And I'm building on it every week, so I hope to see you all back soon. You all have a great day. God bless you.